not sick anymore. Has Deadpool finally found its cable? Does the young pope sh in the woods? No, but you know who almost did? Jessica Chobot. Oh, it was a rough sickness. Both possible, both unclear. Let's discuss the first one on today's Nerdist News. <laughs> In less than a week, Deadpool could maybe, possibly, score a Best Picture nomination. And in just a few months, the sequel, which is set to feature a ton of new characters, as well as a new director in John Wick's David Leitch, is set to start shooting for a summer 2018 release. Yet, we still don't know who's going to take on the role of Wade Wilson's unlikely partner in anti-crime, Cable. Cable, for those of you who don't know, is the super serious, super grizzled, super soldier son of Cyclops and Madeline Pryor, a clone of Jean Grey, who travels through time from an apocalyptic future to fix the past. You know, that old chestnut stealing Dan's one-liners, f*** you Dan. At some point in his history, writer Fabian Nicieza thought to team the sobered warrior up with the merc with the mouth, and the rest is history. They became one of Marvel's most beloved odd couples. All that to say, we are anxious to see who Fox picks for Cable, since they got Deadpool so, so right. The stakes are high! Rumor is that Tim Miller was hoping for Kyle Chandler before walking away from the sequel, and Fox was hot on everyone's favorite specific set of skills haver, Liam Neeson. But a surprising post on Ryan Reynolds' Instagram this week has given us a new name to bandy about, and it's a pretty damn surprising one. Pierce Brosnan! Oh. Whoa! That's right, Mamma Mia's Pierce Brosnan, the Thomas Crown Affairs, Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan of Percy Jackson and the Olympians, colon, the lightning thief fame. The November man himself, people. Yes, Reynolds posted a pic of himself, Brosnan, and plot twist, huge jacked man, posing adorably as those three monkeys who love covering up their orifices, and fans <laughs> immediately started wondering whether that meant Brosnan was in as Cable. Actually, they went far beyond wondering as fan art extraordinaire Boss Logic immediately mocked up a potential look for Brosnan in the role. Why is his face all ripped apart? Bold choice. Really, really graphic, bold choice. But do we think he's our guy? Uh, not really. I don't know, I kind of dig it, but not really. Uh, I mean, while we've never heard an American accent from Pierce Brosnan, he's a great enough actor that we're fairly confident that he's going to be able to pull that off. And the man can obviously handle action. I mean, have you seen After the Sunset? Come on. But he feels a little, you know, long in the tooth, and the man was just saying while promoting his new show, The Sun, at the TCA, is that he's pretty much done with action, and Cable is a goddamn futuristic commando. It just doesn't really add up. Plus, while it'd be fun to speculate that the huge jacked man might be popping the claws to join up with Deadpool after all, we're thinking it's a lot more likely that he'll wrap things up for good with Logan as planned. Basically, we'd guess that these three just happened to be in the same place at the same time as celebs are known to do and took the chance for a photo op. After all, Ryan Reynolds went out of the way to credit Brosnan as Bond alongside Wolvie and Deadpool. Then again, just because Brosnan isn't playing Caves doesn't mean that he isn't in D2 at all. He could easily sign on to play a villain like the rumored Mr. Sinister, which, sh that would be legitimately cool. Let the Brosnan for Sinister campaign begin right here, right now, people. But what do you guys think? Would you like Brosnan for Cable? Who would you like to see in the role? Would Pierce make a good Mr. Sinister? Let's discuss. Hey y'all, did you catch Kumail Nanjiani on last week's Sidekick with Matt Myra? If you didn't, you can check it out on YouTube right now. Also, Dan's got an all new Dan Cave with everything that you need to know about Legion. Just in time for the new FX show. For everything else, head on over to Nerdist.com.